Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pat, and I'm doing another money-making guide for World of Warcraft. And this one's going to be a higher-level one. And what it is is it's going to be the raid um, battle for Mount Hyjal and soloing it. And that's really going to yield you quite a bit of money, and that's why I'm going to do it. So basically, guys, you're going to get about um, 1,300 gold just off the boss drops here, although this is quite a hard run solo. Um, not all classes are going to be able to do it. As a Death Knight um, and Blood Spec, very easy run. Um, most of the bosses um, are fairly easy, except for the first one, which, is, uh, which I'm going to show you uh, specifically how to do that one. So basically, guys, um, what's going to happen is a bunch of waves of monsters are going to come. And after you beat all those, then the bosses will spawn. This is going to happen multiple times in the place. There's going to be about eight waves of monsters. As you can see at the top of the screen, it says current wave and the amount of enemies that are coming. And I'm not exactly sure which classes can take this. I would think most of the, any tankable classes can take this, I would assume. Hunters, Death Knights, probably in any spec, to be honest. Um, any, what you need is a little bit of, um, a little bit of healing power, and you're, you should be pretty good. You just need the ability to be able to heal yourself a little bit. And the first, um, boss is really the one that's going to be rough, so that's where you're going to really need the, a little bit of healing from. Um, you're going to want to make sure you loot every single monster. You should probably, you're going to get a good amount of gold as well from this and a bunch of green drops and always make sure that you have someone you know disenchant them so you don't have to you know pay um, for someone to do that usually you could find someone in your guild who will do it for free it will dis disenchant everything for you if you're not an enchanter and that's really going to yield you more money it's important to do that and then to sell the sell the stuff after another thing um, you're going to get a little bit more money here guys if you're a miner there are some mining nodes in this place so it will yield you probably another hundred gold if you're a miner um, selling the greens, monster drops, boss drops, you'll get a, at least 2,000 gold in about an hour run. Um, how quick the run is, hard to say, based on your DPS, of course, of how quick you're um, downing the monsters. And um, some classes, some of the, I would say if your spec is like a healer or something, you're probably not going to be able to do this place. It's just, you're going to take so much abuse, it's going to be ridiculous um, compared to downing things. You're going to need decent gear. Um, if you're a, like a tank class or something, or a hunter, you're probably not going to need as good a gear, obviously. But you're going to be ne you're going to need to be level capped for this place. And there are tons of different um, raids like this that you can solo for huge cash like this, because you could really you could really get 2,500 gold um, or so with some luck in about an hour, which isn't bad. I mean, it's comparable to um, farming some of the some of the best farmable stuff, but um, it's not as boring, and that's one of the reasons um, to do this. Also. You can get some nice transmog stuff as well. Nothing wrong with that. Get a couple transmog stuff, and get a get a good chunk of money. You can only do it once a week anyway, so it's like a lot less boring. All right. So basically, after all these waves come, the first boss will come, and I'll show you guys that fight. That's really the only one that needs to be shown. The other fights are pretty much just DPS them down, except for the last boss. It's not really worth showing, but um, someone's gonna give you um a special like um thing in your inventory and you're going to need to use it when he throws you up in the air just so you don't take fall damage and die from fall damage um, that's just the last boss it's really simple um, you have plenty of time to hit it as you're coming down so you can't really mess it up very easily and if you do then you'll definitely know what you did wrong and get it the second time the first boss is just a little more difficult um, because it has a really powerful move it does a really surprising amount of damage you really just have to avoid it and it makes the fight pretty easy Another thing worth mentioning is um, you do get the Scale of Sands um, reputation while you're here, which is part of an achievement if you become exalted with them. You know, another achievement, if you work on this every week, get a bunch of gold, and you go for achievement at the same time, really not too bad. So guys, after you complete the eight waves, it will say Invading Enemies 1, and this is when the boss is going to come. Um, this is the first boss, and it's the hardest boss, so that's probably a good thing to get the hardest one over with. And let me tell you what the problem is um, with fighting this boss. It is fairly easy, although he is going to freeze you a bunch of times, which is kind of annoying. But the move you really have to watch out for is his Death and Decay. He also, he's kind of like, you know, Death Knight. I mean, he, you see those guys in the Death Knight area. Um, so yeah, Death and Decay, and his Death and Decay is a much bigger radius than yours is. So you really have to run away pretty far. So that's when you're going to want to use um, your cool, any of the cool, any cooldowns you may have um, to protect you from magic damage. Um, clearly, um, as a Death Knight anti-magic shell works wonders in this situation because sometimes he's going to freeze you. I'm frozen right now. I can't really get away too easily so I threw up my shell. I'm not taking any damage but um, yeah you need to get away pretty far so 
there is plenty of room to run, so this is probably far enough. And just wait till it's over. He's going to do this five or six times, and that's really the only way you're going to die in this fight. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward, other than some annoyances. And guys, if you have trouble with these fights, you know, depending on your class, as I said before, it may be rough. You know, just bring a friend with you. I mean, it's still a decent amount of money anyway. Plus, it is a, this is a pretty fun place, I would say. I mean, you don't really get a chance to run these places too often anymore. So, it is nice to, um, it is nice to do them. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys one more uh, Death and Decay from him. I mean, usually you're not going to get frozen like I did. That was like worst case scenario. And that's really when you're going to have to use any cooldowns. <laughs> he did it again, but um, you're going to see I'm going to be taking some abuse this time. As you can see, I took a ridiculous amount of damage, really. Almost 100,000 uh, hit points in damage, which is pretty bad, I have to say. Um, I didn't throw up my... I don't know if this was on cooldown, but uh, that's just showing how much damage you really do um, take from it. So you do want to heal yourself up pretty quickly after a situation like that. So use your cooldowns, get your health back up. I mean, it is possible for a wipe for anyone, really, on this fight. If you make a mistake, but you'll get used to it. And you'll just make sure to use your cooldowns when you can. Because he does seem to freeze you sometimes when that happens. And that's really the only bad thing that could happen in the fight. Alright guys, so when they're dead, you're going to get a good amount of gold. 250 gold right there. Um, look at these. 13 gold, 2 gold, um, gold and a half. Let's see what they look like out of curiosity. So yeah, they're not bad, the transmog stuff here. Um, if you like transmog, I'm not too big into it, so it's just extra gold for me. But yeah, you do get a nice amount of stuff. Um, each boss can drop 250, I believe, in the last boss. I want to say 300 it drops. So yeah, you're going to get 1,300 gold from that. And I'm going to tell you guys how I get my calculations for the gold. Um, I'm going to get 1,300 off the boss drops. You're probably going to get maybe another 200 off regular drops. That's about 1,500. Off the green stuff and purple stuff you're going to sell. Well, the green stuff you're going to disenchant and then sell. And the purple stuff, that's probably another 500 gold at least. So that's about 2,000. Um, another 100 if you're a miner. So you're going to get about 2,000-ish gold, guys. Anyways, guys, um... There are more gold guys that I do have, so check them out, and you know, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys later.